Do you ever feel like the MCAT passage you're reading is just another cumbersome hurdle you have to get through in order to become a doctor? Well, I did. I remember sitting in my room, staring at the computer screen, and the research passage just seemed so terribly long. But it doesn't have to be this way. My name is Marina, and I tutor at MCAT Mastery. So you want to become a doctor because you find science fascinating, right? Then the MCAT passages can be interesting too. Why not just treat them as a magazine you read for fun? Most MCAT passages actually come from real research articles. The third paragraph talks about inserting a segment of gene into a different organism's DNA. One of the questions asks, which is the most efficient way to deliver an antisense DNA? And spoiler, it is D. Basically, we are inserting a piece of gene into an embryo. So now, all the cells that come from the mitosis of this embryo will have the mutation that we like. Does that ring a bell to you? Well, there is a hot topic in the scientific world that does exactly that. It is called CRISPR, which is short for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Palindromic Repeats. It has become a very efficient tool for editing genes. That it has won the Nobel Prize, and there has been a lot of controversy regarding whether we can use this technology on embryos, so we can even modify human genes from the start. You are immersing yourself in the scientific community with the newest studies in the real world. Isn't it so cool to learn about the coolest studies at the forefront of scientific investigation? How you can use the passages as more learning opportunities by treating each passage as an opportunity to enrich myself. I was able to read the passage faster and feel less exhausted. Get excited about how all these new technologies can do in improving your patients' lives. Make sure you sign up for our videos and free resources in our blogs. You can also sign up for one-on-one -on -one tutoring and strategy courses.